So you guys want to know about starting to print DTF transfers from home? Well, you guys got questions and I've got answers. You guys are watching Ash Stand the Man. How you guys doing? My name is Stan Banks from T-Shirt Side Hustle and I help you start T-Shirt businesses from home. Where are you at? And today I'm here with my guy, Brother Ernest, and we're going to go over the things that you need to get started to DTF print right after the intro. <laughs> Okay, okay, before we jump into it, you guys know what I need you to do. I need you to like this video, I need you to subscribe, I need you to do all of that good stuff because I make videos like this, Brother Ernest, all the time. Epic, who doesn't watch them? No question, right? So if you guys got a question about DTF printing and you wanna hear from Brother Ernest on your specific question, make sure you put it down in the comments below and I'll make sure we get a Brother Ernest answer. All right, so I'm new to this. I got my mind made up, Brother Ernest. You cannot talk me out of buying a DTF printer. But You're crazy. <laughs> what are the things that I need to know or I need to get in order to buy? What printers am I looking at? And I want to buy new printers. I want to, what, what new printers can I come into a, a store and purchase in order to be ready for DTF printing? First, you can only use Epson based printers because they are non proprietary for the ink. Um, <laughs> as far as new printers, to my knowledge, I have the second largest supply of brand new, unused, unboxed, not open Epson P600s. Um, I have the largest supply of Epson 3880s, Epson P400s that were all owned by former professional studio printers. Um, so beyond the Epson P600, an occasional Epson P400 that you're gonna find out there, they're all used. Everybody's in a used market right now. So when you see people getting upset that they've got a used printer that they bought from somebody, that's because COVID has literally shut Epson's factories down. So if you're trying to get a new printer stand, you have to ask yourself a few questions. How much space of printing do you want? Do you want eight and a half inches of printing size and width? Do you want 13 inches, 17 inches, or 24 inches? Those are the first things that you want to start with. The standard Epson base printer, the P600, P400s, R3000s, and so on and so forth, run at 13 inches wide. Your next printers are the Epson P800, the Epson 3880s, and a few more models that are 17 inch printers like the Epson 4880. Above that, you start getting into the 24 inch printers like the older 7880s, um, 7890s, and it's rarely that you ever find a 7900 or an Epson P6000 that can be converted into a DTF printer, which they are hard to come by because Epson has phased those units out and you run into a problem. You can have all the Epson based printers in the world, but you don't have a rip to run that printer and you need a rip stand. So having a rip um, is most important. So what is a rip? A rip is a raster image protocol. It's a software that takes all your colors, all your images, your white layer, your CMYK layers, and processes them out to print um, on film or paper. It does all the brain work for you. Gotcha. Right now we're in the era of the rips because there's a lot of companies out there, um, Cathari, and all of these I'm a dealer for, Cathari, White Rip 7. Right now you can only buy White Rip 7 in the United States because I have the largest supply of rips. Well, my wife does. Um, she lets me borrow them every now and then. And having a rip, having your printer, having your film and your ink are a combination that you really need to think about. If you just run out and you buy cold peel ink, everybody has cold peel ink because they're buying it from China. Um, everybody has cold peel film because they're buying it from China. China is now catching up with hot peel film and hot peel ink because they see the need in the market. In my opinion, hot peel ink and hot peel film and hot peel powder is 
the uh, dominating force right now in the industry. Though there's companies that sell color, uh, cold peel ink and film, you know, when you're in a mass production, man, I don't have time to wait for something to cool down. That's why, if you kind of think in the vinyl world, I love companies like uh, B-Flex, and there's like one other company that are three and five second vinyl peels. Bam, you do your press, three seconds later, you're peeling. No cold peel issues, no cooling down. You know, you're just able to peel and go, peel and go. And that's what my model of inks, um, hot peel inks, hot peel film, and hot peel powder are about. It's the speed for the printer, the usability in the print head of the printer. You're gonna run into problems with these older printers as well because the part, the replacement parts are getting harder and harder to find, which is why I recommend that people do not use an Epson 4880 or the 4800s, those are the 17 inch printers for DTF because the print heads are, you, you cannot get them anymore. You rarely can get an Epson P600 print head or an Epson P800 print head, but they're out there for a lot of money. So that's just a uh, few thoughts on the difference of printers. Stan, it's all gonna depend upon how big of a width do you want, you know? Gotcha. And they say, you know, they say the size matter. Yeah, it matters. That's what she said. Yeah, it <laughs> matters because, um, you know, we print for, my partner and I print for world famous musicians, and a lot of their shirts are going to the 16 by 20 print areas. It's just an almost a full coverage of the front, right. you know? Um, so size matters, transfers matters. Um, transfer, when you can group those transfers up or gang them, you know, you're able to print like crazy and print a lot. Um, so hopefully that answers that question. Now, now when it comes to getting started, all right, if I want just a desktop model printer, I'm ready to print from home, what type of financial investment or what am I gonna be spending my money on? Like just go piece by piece. You got the uh, printer, Yeah, yeah. The printer's gonna cost how much? On average, you're gonna spend about $3,200 because that's the fair market value. Right. Um, companies like DTF Superstore, mm -hmm. they don't have new printers for Epson P600s. They only have refurbished which means it could have been one of the printers, you know, one of the 20 or 30 printers that I sold the company a while back that had 80 or 90,000 prints on them because I got them from New England um, School of Photography and um, I bought 50 of them from them and then parsed them out across the country. So you're gonna find used or refurbished printers there. If you go to a company like DTF Pro, you're gonna find new printers there. If you go to my company, you're gonna find new printers there. We have the full in the box, wrap tape, never been opened with warranties currently from Epson. And once you modify your printer, you put the DTF ink in, you've lost your warranty. Right. Um, so you're looking at $3,200 around the ballpark for all the companies out there. Now, when you start talking about the used printers, like a 3880, um, some of the 17 inch printers or the Epson P800 printers, those are, uh, I thought that was Kelly for a minute. Those are uh, even higher because the bigger printers that you get, obviously they cost more. Right. You're covering, you're able to do more. So there is what's called a used market that you can go buy a printer out there and, you know, if you, find, yeah, if you find one that's able to be sold and, and everything's on the up and up, good. If you get a printer from me and it's used previously, I know the status of the printer because I've seen it print. I've worked with it. I bought it from a photography business or studio photography business um, or professional print house. And they're very, very low counts on the printers. So um, so now that we got printer out the way, the next thing we need is a rip. And, and what are we looking at for rip? What's the cost for rip? So we got 3,200 bucks. For that, we gotta buy a rip, 3,200 bucks after that. So how much does the rip cost? So the rips are anywhere, if you uh, go to look for uh, Acro Rip version 10, you know, I, I have the second largest supply set aside from acrorip.com themselves. Um, so you're looking at about $385 just for the rip. That's a basic rip. You do all your work in Photoshop and the rip just prints it. If you want to get into rips where you're designing inside of the rip and editing the print capabilities, that's going to be white rip seven, Cathari rip. What does um, it cost? 
you know, $550 to $795. Gotcha. So there's CAD link rip coming out that is, you know, just in the birthing process. There's SAI Flexi that's coming out that's in the birthing process of DTF. I use FlexiSoft for my eco solvent printing, printing thousands of stickers a day, um, wrapping cars. And so I have a lot of hope for that Flexi Rip for DTF. It could be a game changer because something like that's only 79 bucks a month. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, monthly subscription, but um, it's expensive because as you get past the year, yeah, you're, yeah, you, you're already you over a thousand right, bucks. Yeah, that's that, so, that new cloud-based business that's right, going on right, and stuff right, like that. Right. So we got the printer. We got the rip. We're about $3,600 in there, let's say. Now we got to get our supplies. We got to get our inks and our paper. Uh, now, the, the the beauty about what everybody likes about DTF printing is the cost per print. Like, what is the, what are we looking at cost per A3 size transfer if you were doing it? It's hard to say because the, the product is in its infancy, so there's not really a rip that, has that allows you to put your wholesale cost of ink in and break down the cost of how many milliliters were used to print. I factored it down to about a you know an A3 sheet costing just in ink alone about 35 to 40 cents gotcha. for the entire print if you were to flood it out, you know. Um, but we buy personally, you know, my my partner yeah, my partner buy buys, you know, thousands of milliliters of ink from Belgium and imports them in. And uh, he is just figuring it out to 35 to 40 cents per sheet. Right, Your so cost that's not like film. the retail if you buy smaller, smaller quantities, be a little higher. Right, yeah. right. So um, Still a pretty low cost though. Yeah, so when a person buys a printer from us, we include the ink to get them started. We include, you know, the 100 sheets of film to get them started. And, you know, literally we have people that drive all over from the United States to get our ink um, because it's it's really a higher quality of ink that's out in the market. The game changer that's coming to this entire ink gambit, and I'm happy to tell you about it, is we are, you know, releasing Kodak DTF ink. And that Kodak DTF ink is going to be a game changer because now there will be ICC color profiles. That was the next thing that I yeah. wanted to get to. So uh, what, how, what is the importance of the ICC color profiles and different things like that? And why don't every company have them? Well, the importance of ICC profiles is I can print that color exactly as you're looking at it in the camera. And when you get your transfer and you print it on the shirt, the blue is gonna match the blue. The black is gonna match the black. The white will match the white and not look gray or a different color. ICC profiles are everything in this business because as I said earlier, I printed uh, 50 or 60 shirts for Berkshire Hathaway and they have patented their purple. So um, I printed 200 shirts for T-Mobile and their pink, I had to sign um, a non-disclosure to print before um, they gave me their color profiles and their color uh, gambit numbers. Otherwise, they wouldn't let me do it. No, you can take our numbers and print all day long. Well, I stand right at getting sued if I take their pink. It's a weird pink. It's the only pink that's out there like theirs. They're, they have uh, trademarked and patented that pink. So if I go to T-Mobile and I print them 50 shirts and they say, well, that's not the same color as our pink. Well, I'm having to refund them and I've wasted all of that time and effort and money. ICC profiles are everything in this industry because if you can't match the colors, you're gonna be in a deep problem. And I find that the Epson 3880 17 inch base printer has just a natural matching profile for colors. It's, it's almost mind blowing because the P600, the P800s, those colors become off. And it's something in the Epson driver um, that we've not ascertained. I'm not a programmer yet. Um, so we're building our own profiles for those printers. The Epson 3880 seems to me the easiest printer to plug, play, and go and print with accuracy. But you got to find that one used. They're all used. And if you blow a print head, you can't get another one. Yeah, if you blow a print head on your 3880, it's very hard to do, by the way. Um, 
if you blow that print head or you blow the motherboard, you got to chuck the unit and start again. So that's a problem, you know, is we have these printers for sale. All the companies out there do. And when you blow that print head, they're not covered. We don't cover print head warranties. We don't cover motherboard warranties. Nobody does, right? What we cover, the basic things like capping station, um, encoder strips, you know, and really, those are for new printers. When you're buying used printers, it's like buying an as-is warranty on a car. There is no warranty. Right, you know? right. You're so, buying your own knowledge to repair it. So I'm getting into this. I, I know what to expect. I think the, the the ultimate benefit to DTF printing is very, very, you know, I got a custom t-shirt business locally. I'm printing one, de one design here, two designs there. It's really, really quick for me to do in that manner, right? Like yeah, in, right. In, in that manner. Uh, knocking out customs, but I think the hugest drawback is the longer run when it comes to using these. It's printers. not only that; it's the maintenance. We have mm. Epson F twenty one hundred DTG printers, and you know I know that I can leave that printer sitting for a week, walk by in the middle of the week, shake all my white inks, turn the printer on on Friday, and it's going to be ready to go. If you do that with a DTF printer, that white ink is going to start to separate and clog your print head and you're in a massive nightmare you know um, those are the drawbacks so anybody that buys a dtf printer from me or another company out there also buy about a pound of weed because you're going to smoke that out of the frustrations that you're going to have right you're either going to smoke that or you're going to drink some alcohol or you're going to go get your firearm you're going to go to the range and you're going to pop some rounds i off. definitely like to go to the yeah. range dude because i tell you man it's a lot of work how do you spell dtf printing w-o-r-k right when it works it it's works great. it's like they used to say when you're up you're up when you're down you're down when you're halfway up you're neither up nor down and that's the damn problem with the printers i love the technology it's awesome i'm addicted to dtf printing i love it i buy printers from companies all around the world that have uh that are professional print companies and I'm addicted. You know, right, some brother. people buy cars, I buy printers. Mm -hmm. All right, man. So where can they go to find your RIP software? If they need a RIP for whatever printer they find locally, let them know where to find you, where to get your stuff from. Well, the best place to buy is born2print.shop, right? That's that's one of the best companies out there. Um, my website, Live Event Printing, is a place that you can go to. Everybody pretty much knows my website. We're just going to give you the sure enough, right? We're going to tell you the truth. We're sure going to tell you that these printers, except for the Epson P600s and a, you know, a few of the Epson P800s that I have that are brand new sealed in a box, um, those are the new printers. Anything else that you'd start delving off into, the 1430s, the R2000s, the 3800s, the 3880s, they're all used, right? What the hell can you expect? We got to get Epson to wake up. But Epson will be releasing a DTF printer in their ink. I guarantee it. In probably a year or two, they're going to catch on to the fastest growing printer sales in the world right now is this agree. industry. So if you want to jump in, buy a printer from me. If you're uh, in a state that is legal cannabis, you can pay for my airplane ticket. And I'll come out and set your store up or set your business up. And um, I'll fly home. That's all I charge is just the airline ticket and a couple of joints you know because we're going to lose our mind setting this thing up right and um that's the benefit right and you can get printing we can help you make that money we understand the rips we are um a licensed master sale of acro rip white rip seven um and a few other rips like Cathari ek rip um I got everything you need to get started, including the ink. I know where to get it. I look forward to the Kodak DTF inks coming out. Amazing color, amazing vibrancy and profiles. And that makes the combination for the best printer, the best ink in the world. Even though it's cold peel ink and I sell hot peel ink, I can't argue with that Kodak um, DTF ink. All right, guys, man, I'm going to get into detail printing. 
maybe. If you guys like this video enough, you comment down and say, Stan, buy a DTF printer. I will buy a DTF printer. And I'll bring you guys some content on it. Uh, I think the drawback for myself is I need to travel, meet people like Brother Ernest, and go try to get you guys more information, more content. I'm bringing you the, the, the ground floor level of the content. It's your job to go out, take this, apply it to what you want. If you want to start DTF, you want to use that. I don't care what it is that you do. Just get out here and make some money, hustle some prints, some t-shirts, and get after it. This has been your boy Stan Banks here in Boston. And the best transfer company out there, in my opinion, um, is born to print dot shop you can find them on instagram go to their website born to print dot shop for your transfers they're incredible i mean they're literally incredible great inks you can go to my website live event printing dot com for transfers as well look me up on youtube as well brother Ernest. a lot of printing content not as much as this guy he's addicted to printing all, all of this stuff will be down in the description all right guys this is me so your boy long. stand back some t-shirts side hustle peace uh -huh.